and we're going to continue today. We're talking about inequalities. There's a couple more, or at least a couple more types that I haven't talked about yet. One of them is the linear inequality in two variables, and the last one is the system of inequalities. And what happens here is that we end up with two variables, a y and an x, and so if we're going to find a solution to that, we need an xy plane, Cartesian coordinate system. Here's our y-axis, here's our x-axis, and the solution to this inequality will be an infinite number of combinations of xy values, which means that it's a region somewhere on the xy plane. To find the region, we first want to find the delineation or the boundary between the region that satisfies and the region that does not satisfy the inequality. To do that, we're going to take our inequality and, and write it as an equation, replacing the greater than and equal to sign by just an equal sign, so we write y equals 2x minus 2. At this point, you should look at that and realize, wow, that is a straight line. According to the equation, y equals mx plus b, where negative 2 is the y-intercept and 2 is the slope of the line. So let's graph that line first. Finding the uh, intercept, y equals negative 2 is down here. So that's, we know the line goes to that point. And then realizing the slope is a positive 2, which means you have a rise of 2 for a run of 1. We go up 2 and over 1 up 2 and over 1, up 2 and over 1, and so forth. You can see those points all like, lie in a straight line, and then when you draw a line straight across it, you now have the boundary of the uh, region that satisfies and the region that does not satisfy the uh, inequality. In this case, since we have an equal sign as well as a greater than sign, the boundary itself is part of the solution, and therefore we can go ahead and draw a straight solid line. Now, to find the region that does not, or that does satisfy the inequality, we're going to try a test point. To pick any point on either side of the line. I always like to use the point 0, 0. That makes it easier to plug in that value. So plug in the point 0, 0 into your inequality. 0 for y greater than or equal to 2 times 0 for x minus 2. And that's, of course, a question mark. We don't know if that's going to be true or not. Let's simplify it, 0 greater than or equal to 0 minus 2, or 0 greater than or equal to minus 2. And of course, that's question mark. And here we can see that's clearly not true, 0 is not greater than negative 2, no, which means I pick the point, 0, 0, in the region that does not satisfy the inequality. This doesn't satisfy, that means the other side satisfied the inequality, and we can shade that side in, and we then see that this is the solution. This portion of the xy plane is the solution to the inequality that I have here, which means every single point here, whatever the x and y is for every one of those points, plugged into this inequality will make this a true statement. All right, that's how you do these. Let's do a couple more to get a good feel for how to do these types of problems.